Wow, look at the bees. I don't know if they don't like the electricity. And I just killed the power. I don't know why they appear to be swarming. Chad and Jason here with uh, New England Homesteaders. We are checking on the bees. It's been two weeks since the uh, the exodus. Actually, no, it was two weeks since we put the new box in. And then last week when I was here putting in the uh, electric fence is when they all left. But I came and checked the other day and uh, they were all still here. So it must have been just a temporary exodus. They didn't actually swarm, which is a good thing. So it's been two weeks since we put that box in and Jason and I are gonna check and see how much they've been moving up into that second brood box and uh, I filled the feeders when I was just here the other day I don't even losing track of the days only three or four days ago must have been uh, what's today today's Friday Tuesday. so Tuesday I was here and I filled the feeders and they're both empty so they're still taking a lot of food so I'm gonna go ahead and keep feeding them and fill that up but we just got the smoker going so I'm gonna hand the camera to Jason and we're gonna go ahead and uh, crack these hives open and see Peek down in. This is the. So, not a whole lot of activity. Like, they're not drawing out comb on those frames. This so, if we get this, so we let the wind kind of do the work for us. see much activity in this one though either in terms of drawing out comb still lots going on down in there but It is packed down in there. So I had seen some videos and read a little bit that maybe what we're to do is take a couple of those frames from down there and move them up into here to encourage them to start working up in here because I don't see any comb or anything drawn out up in here. So nothing really on that side. Well, there's honey, there's capped honey mm -hmm. on this side. So maybe it's just a matter of time. I don't have any place I can put this one down. I need that rack or I need a second deep. You wanna just hold it? Okay, we want to be sure you put it back in the same way. Here, get it, hold it where I'm holding it because there's no honey there. All right, so be sure we put it back in okay. this way. Oh, okay. Look at all the bees hanging out there.
So look at all that honey on there. Now I suppose some of that could be the sugar water because I've been feeding them so much so it could be sugar water honey. But look there's there's capped there's drone caps in there. See those raised? And maybe that's just honey. No, that's just honey. So there's no brood on this one. That's all honey. got all that comb built out on the bottom. Yeah. So that's all capped honey on the top. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that big one right there. It's a big... It. Did you see that? The big thing right there? A big bee? No, that right there. Oh, that, that raised thing? Yeah. So that might be one of those. Yeah, so that's a queen cell. Mm-hmm. So... I wonder if we should look at the rest and see if there's more of those. Because that could be an indication that... I forget what that's called. It's called a... So that's all capped honey too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so that's all brewed at the bottom. I think those raised, those raised caps. So those are drone. Yeah, there's another one right another there. Another one, yeah. Sorry. All right, so here is the last of the ones that came with the nuke. So I haven't seen the queen, at least it hasn't no. been obvious. Yeah. But we've got two, two of those queen cells. Okay. We'll look at this one and then put it back together. This is one of the new ones. This is pretty heavy. So that's almost completely covered, right? Drawn out.
heard about this. So see how this top can go either way? So you want it to be up like this so that the entrance is into here and not directly into the hive. Other side. We won't go as in depth in this one. Yeah, I don't know why it's working so well today, but... No, I... That's some other kind of wasp. Did they kill it? Did it get in there? That's huge. <laughs> yeah, that's something else. Because it couldn't have come out, right? No. No. I mean, unless she went out and came in the top. Wow. Wow, so this one is doing stuff. So this one I might be able just to set down because there's really nothing on it. you hold that one too. All right, so this is the way that it goes. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot of activity up in this box compared to the other one. Yeah, they're starting to draw it out, aren't they? I'm going to slide this one over. Wow, why is it? It's hung up in the bottom. Oh my god, look down in there. Can you see? Mm -hmm. I think we need, to, we need to clean all that out. I don't know why they've built that all up like that. Such a mess. Oh, yeah. well, there's a honey dripping too. Yeah, so, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. These guys are doing so much better than the other hive in terms of look at look at all the capped honey on this side. Kind of a mess in there, though. So these guys definitely made use of their extra space. So that's pretty interesting that the uh, the hive that didn't appear to be doing as good is actually doing quite a bit better uh, inside. They've moved up into that second brood box and there's quite a bit going on in there. Uh, there's also a lot of activity in that top honey super, although they're not really doing much in terms of drawing out comb or anything up in there. Um, it didn't dig into that bottom box of this second hive because it seems that there's quite a mess in between there. I'm not sure if I should clean all that out or exactly what should happen there. So that's it for this week. Bees are doing well and um, the electric fence is working great. I'm going to test
test the battery in another week and see how much longer I can get out of that. And um, all is well. Hope you guys have a great week.